We begin with El Paso neighbors calling for action at an intersection that they are calling dangerous. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. It is the intersection of U.S. 54 North and State Line Drive in Northeast El Paso, right across the edge of Texas restaurants. That's where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields live with those concerns. We'll take a look at how dark it is out here. The only lights in the intersection right here you'll see come from the flashing stop signs there and just a few light posts. But people out here tell me it is just as dangerous in the daytime. A woman I spoke with says she witnessed a crash on Sunday afternoon and she says something needs to be done out here before more people get hurt. Right at the edge of Texas and New Mexico, cars coming and going must deal with an intersection that area residents call poorly planned. I want to know how many more people have to get injured. They see this car didn't even stop. You see that truck? He knows he can't stop. Joanna Noga lives in Chaparral, New Mexico, but commutes to El Paso on the regular. She says she witnessed a crash Sunday involving a camper and two other vehicles at the intersection of US 54 North and State Line Road. She says the area is a casualty waiting to happen. Semi goes across most of the time, no stopping because they can't. See, if they had stopped, that car would have run into them. On one end, cars can go up to 75 miles an hour. And at the same time, cars turning onto State Line Road must stop at a stop sign in the middle with little road between them and the highway. A car, I don't even know how a semis can turn there. But once a semis there, there's zero visibility for anybody. We, we want a light. I mean, shouldn't it be a light? Others living in the area agree. I've seen a lot of loss of life. I go through here every morning uh, and come back in the afternoon, and we've seen a lot of casualties happen here. It's just very confusing for the people that are coming from that way and also exiting from Ch Chaparral. So we asked, what's the fix for this area? I'd like for the state of Texas, um, which I know they're in charge of this intersection, for them to consider surveying, doing some engineering so that we cannot have that many casualties. And Joe Molinar, the El Paso City Council rep for this area, says his office does not have any plans to put any traffic lights out here, but I spoke with a TxDOT spokesperson who says they are aware of the area and the public concern, and they're looking at this intersection as part of their safety improvement plan. Those details are expected to come soon. For now, live in, East, in northeast El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.